rolling. Welcome and hello. This is Andrew David. This is the uh, high performance call with Blake Newbar's team. Appreciate you guys being on. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about success, but we're going to start to build a foundation so you can create your own equation on what it takes to get from where you are to what success really means, but what it means for you. Okay. These high performance calls Monday through Friday, noon, Eastern time every day. Now, if you're watching live, awesome. If you guys haven't yet, all of these go up on YouTube uh, within just a few hours of going live. There's a lot of training on here. You just need to scroll through the YouTube channel. You'll be able to find them. If you guys haven't yet, then please, you know, um, subscribe, like, comment on videos, uh, you know, always looking for input. And if you have topics that you guys would like to learn about, by all means, email me or get on YouTube and comment about it. Let me know so that we can cover those. Uh, we got a lot of different things. So, Here's why success is important. Occasionally, you get people that immediately will say, look, success isn't everything. And okay, so anytime I get that response from someone, my first thought is not necessarily that they're broken, but something has happened to keep them from being comfortable talking about or desiring success for themselves, right? Or they've got a weird definition where they're using someone else's definition of what success is, right? Does that make sense for everybody? If you're uncomfortable talking about success, it's because you're doing what we were just talking about where you feel, well, your definition of success is, is what I need to adapt and, and you know hold dear to me. And I'm not comfortable with that. And so I'm going to fight against it. Well, if that's what you're trying to do, then yes, success is going to be uncomfortable to talk about. But what you need to do is kind of figure it out for yourself. So today we're going to talk about some of these basic things, basic elements, and I'm going to let you guys define certain elements of success. And we're going to talk about some of these things. And, and then tomorrow we're going to take them and we're going to fit them into an equation so you can figure out how to go from here to there. And there's a reason that there are certain things in mathematical equations. There's things called variables. And those variables have to be there. Because where Michael Kell is, is different than where Sue Blankenship is. And it's different from where Ernie is and Carolyn and Chris and Ryan and everybody else. We all are starting from a different place. And if I came and I gave you guys a recipe and I said, here you go, here's the recipe for success. Then one of you'd be able to get work, get to work on it. And others would look at it and go, well, I don't have some of these ingredients. And others would say, well, I don't have the right oven. I can't get mine to the right temperature. Right? How many of you guys have seen one of my favorite shows is the um, British Baking Show. It's on Netflix, all the repeats. It's from the BBC, obviously from the UK. How many of you guys have seen that? Anybody? Raise your hands. Yes. Comments, chat. Okay. So if you haven't yet, if you ever go watch it, make sure that you do it with a full stomach. Because if you don't, you're going to end up ordering a lot of food and, and you're going to be frustrated with me later on and say, Andrew, why would you make me gain weight from this damn show? So awesome, awesome thing to watch. Here's what's great about it. The first thing they do is they give them a signature challenge. So they walk in, they say, all right, you're going to cook something. You're going to bake something like this, this type of bread, this type of dessert, this type of pastry, et cetera, et cetera. You're going to go in, you're going to do this. Okay, great. So they get to work on that. They do their signature. They get judged on it. The next thing it, that they have to do is a technical challenge. And in the technical challenge, the judges give them a recipe and ingredients. And they give everybody the exact same ingredients and they give them an incomplete recipe. It's missing elements. There's no picture of what it's supposed to look like. It says, instead of saying, combine these elements to get this type of, you know, cream or, or to do this with the pastry, they just say, make, you know, make this cream, right? Make this, do that. And they have partial ingredient lists and partial pieces of the of the recipe and they want them to have a certain level of experience to be able to finish that and come up with based on this incomplete data some perfect pastry and they want it to to look exactly the way that they think it should and they want the you know one of their best lines that i laugh all the time about is you know oh you've got a soggy bottom here when the pastry isn't the way it's supposed to be or Anyway, it's, it's a blast of show, but I always, I, watching that over the weekend, I was thinking about it. You know, here they get this incomplete recipe, but everybody's got the same ingredients. 
And at the end of the technical challenge, they all put it up on a table and the judges don't know who did what is put behind someone's picture. And so they come up, Carolyn, it's, it's the British baking show. If you've got Netflix, just look it up and you'll, you'll find it. It's absolutely fantastic. I've watched every episode of every season and I've like, we've had days where we left the house at, you know, nine 30 at night to get to the grocery store, to try and find little French petty four pastries, because it was like, we've got to do this. And they were all out. So we bought a sponge cake with icing and then we got other stuff to cook for ourselves. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, they put up these, the, the, whatever they baked with the technical challenge, they put it up on the table, they're getting judged and the judges walk out and they say, We've got this. Oh, oh, this wasn't quite right. Oh, the, the piping here is supposed to look like this. Oh, the stripes are supposed to be, you know, diagonally instead of horizontal. Oh, the, none of these aren't all the right size. They're different size. Like, and they're judging and they're being harsh because there's, you know, there's a prize at the end and they're trying to eliminate people and go through the whole process. But how many times have you gone through your life and you feel like you've been given an incomplete recipe? Where you're looking at it and you're going, there's something missing here. How in the hell do they have ultimately almost access to the same ingredients? Even if I don't have the ingredients in my hands right now, I could probably go get a lot of them. But damn, there's stuff missing. What am I supposed to do? How do I get there? What's going on? And part of it's because we're trying to work with a recipe instead of an equation. Because a recipe means this is what it is. It's one reason that I like cooking instead of baking. Does anybody know, like, at least in my mind, what do you guys think one of the biggest differences is between cooking and baking? Anybody... With cooking, you can use fantasy, right? And adjust. And with baking, add a little bit too little, a little bit too much, and uh, yep. just get something like, uh, yeah. what is this? It's got to be, it's this sense of precision with baking, chemistry with baking, you know, science, all of this. It's these elements like baking. It has to be this, right? If your salt's a little off, the whole thing is gone. If you, if it takes, if you're in the oven for, you know, two minutes too long or not enough, it's going to affect everything. If you, right, where with cooking, I can play around, right? I can modify stuff. You can give me a recipe with cooking. I go, "Mm, I'm going to substitute this. I'm going to substitute that. Cooking is an art. Baking is a science. Absolutely, guys. Here's the thing. Success isn't really, well, math is a science. So I would say success lies there, but there's no exact recipe for success. But there are equations because there are too many variables. There's nothing that I can give you that will guarantee this result if you follow it 100% to the letter, there's just no way. That simple statement alone, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the biggest reasons that people don't accomplish what they set out to accomplish because they expect an exact recipe. And if I follow this exact recipe, then my outcome is predestined. Then I will have the perfect cake with the perfect shining um, Jeez, as much as I watch this and all of a sudden today, my vocabulary is out, right? I can't think of half of what I'm wanting to say, um, you know, but the glaze isn't going to be right. You know, your, your fondant isn't set appropriately. The structure isn't holding up, whatever it may be. And some of you guys expect to have the recipe exactly the right. So I want to talk about certain elements of what success are today. Success is today. And then we're going to dive into how to lay out your equation for yourself tomorrow. So pay attention today, participate in a couple of these slides that I've got coming up. And then tomorrow, bring your notes from today, show up and sit down because we're going to help you outline your very own equation. Does that work for everybody? Are we good with that? All right. Awesome. And if it doesn't, then okay. You know, there's only so much I can do. Here we go. So success, the keys to success. People give me the key. Give me the secret. Give me the recipe. Give me exactly what I need. Well, guys, it's just not how it works. So maybe that's the the next part of your assignment. I know Carolyn's going to jump on it. 
Go watch at least one episode of the British Baking Show today, and, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. What you need to do is we need to look at first the building blocks. There are elements of that. We're going to talk a little bit about the building blocks. But before we get into that, I want to define success. I want you guys, uh, give me a second to pull up the chat so I can have that. When you think success, what do you mean or what do you think success is, right? So hold on. And I'm looking for one or two word phrases is kind of where, where we're at. So real quick, Michael said, success is an ongoing process of how we live our lives. Yep. The epitome of success is seen in Taoism. Spend half the year at 7,500 feet altitude. All recipes need tweaking. Yeah, for sure. Can you move from the reflecting picture from your back right? Somebody's Hartley's making me turn around the picture of me and my fiance the day that we got engaged. Look at the heartlessness. Sorry, just kidding. All right. Let me write this in here. So we have balance. Process of becoming more. What else do we have? Um, underwater baking. Accomplishment of goals. Okay, so attaining goals. Um, making a difference. Bernie, I'm just trying to take away to say what you're saying there. Uh, making a difference. Goal you've you've made yourself. So achieving goals. Making today better than to yesterday. So improvement, um, Bansel, achievement, um, <laughs> Hartley, you're good. Contentment, okay. Pursuit of worthy ideal, good. And I like that it you have the, the pursuit there. Self-mastery, ooh, that's a, that's a big one. Progress towards a specific goal. So we kind of have some of that helping others. State of our mental position. Mentality is how I'm going to say that. AI that is uh, external can be taken from you. Um, happiness. Happy, healthy, wealthy. There you go. Health, wealth. I know as soon as I write health, some people are going to flip, right? Financial freedom, positive, massive, massive influence, achieving your purpose. Good. So, ladies and gentlemen, take 30 seconds. I want you to write down at least five different elements of what success is to you. Keep it short. Keep it brief. We don't need, you know, longer sentences. Just one, two, three words. Just boom, boom, boom. Quick list it for you. Playing golf with friends. So, free time. Um, loving relationships. Being able to give and receive love. Creating the life you desire, right? Awesome. So I want everybody to write down at least five things. That's what you're going to do right now. But Lee, I want you to write under those five and look, quick, 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 30 seconds. I don't want you to take any longer. I want you to just pop them out, get them down, have them ready. Okay. Um, real worth and social worth. Yep. Absolutely. But I want everybody to write those down. Okay. Everybody got them? Now. Right underneath that, just the very next thing, making money and vacations. Perfect. Financial freedom, time freedom, location freedom, whatever it is. You guys define it. I want you to write down now 10 more. You're not going to write them all out right now. I want you to just write the words 10 more because you're going to come back to this and you're going to list another 10 items that would fall under these categories. I want you to describe success. Some of you may be describing happiness. I want you to describe if you were thinking of um, and so, okay, so you wrote down five. Yes, everybody's got that. Hartley government in Canada closed down golf courses. <laughs> I, you know, I just met with a guy from, uh, from Canada last night. We were sitting, I was having tacos and he's down here from Canada. He was showing me what happened up there and how closed down everything is. Okay, so you've got your list of five. You're going to write down 10 more. Now, underneath that, I want you to come up with Real quick, top of mind, at least three different people that you look at and go, they are successful. They are successful. I want you to write down three names. If you come up with five or more right away, that's great. But at least three real quick. 
these people are successful, examples of success. And some of them may be people that, you know, when you were a kid growing up, that's who you figured was successful. It could be everywhere, everyone from, you know, a, a church leader that you knew growing up to a business person you knew growing up to your parents, Evita, have a great day, uh, to, you know, a current coach or mentor or someone that you know in the news or a celebrity or an influencer or whatever. Three to five people, real quick, just top of mind, right off the top of your head. Everybody got those? We're solid there. Okay. Now, later today, right below that, with those people, just write in the question, why? And what you're going to do later is you're going to pick one to three elements or a small phrase about them, but something about that individual that you feel allows them to be under your definition of success. Questions about that? Questions about lists or homework to this point? We're good? Everybody solid? Awesome. Now, one element, uh, I'm going to get into a handful of basic building blocks. All right. Number one, I think one of the most important things you need is, is you've got to be true to yourself. Okay. We're talking about success. We're just talking about basic things right now. I'm not diving deep into any of these. We're just giving building blocks. Right. So these are elements I've done longer trainings on. You guys can find a lot of things on, but self-awareness, being aware of who you are, the IQ, emotional intelligence, you know, your, your EQ, clarity, vision, and focus. You've got to know yourself and know what you're going after and know who you are and what you're capable of. And sometimes that's getting out of your own way. Sometimes it's getting out from behind the shadows that you're either hiding in from someone else or the shadows that you've created for yourself throughout your life. You've got to know who you are, what you're capable of. So one thing that I think is important uh, for success are these elements, being true to yourself. Next, it's not what you know, but who you know, kind of. All right, so elements of success, building your brand, building your network. And so in this regard, when I'm talking about building your brand, I'm talking about building yourself and not just other people's awareness about you, but building yourself up uh, because you are the most important investment that you are ever going to make. Um, learning how to build relationships. So this goes back to the emotional intelligence and building quality relationships that can benefit um, benefit you. Okay. And I'm just sitting here talking, sorry. Um, what I was saying is Warren Buffett talks about one of the most important investments that he ever made. It was a Dale Carnegie course that he took when he was young, but it was on public speaking. Learning how to communicate is one of the most important things you guys will ever be able to do, whether it is this business or anything else. Communication in your relationships, communication to your audience, communication with yourself sometimes, learning how to communicate. Next, learning to forgive. Start with yourself or more or none of it matters right? Um, you've got to learn how to forgive things. Not necessarily like, like he says here, and I can't remember his name from Lion King, but it's not necessarily that they deserve forgiveness because you deserve peace. Um, people are amazing and they are fantastic and they are awesome, but sometimes people suck. And forgiveness is one of those things. It, it doesn't mean that when I say it doesn't mean open season, I mean, it doesn't mean that you allow people to walk all over you and treat you like crap and, and become a doormat and allow them to dictate how you live. But at the same time, if you allow them to anger you to the point where you're unable to forgive things, then you will forever struggle. Then you are giving them control over you and how you react and how you live your life. So you've got to learn what's going on. You've got to grow past that. You've got to release that and you've got to move on. One of the elements of success. I think you will always struggle if that's something that's stuck in your way. Next is back to what I was saying before, investing in yourself. So Man versus food. So how, what you eat, how you sleep, how you're building your brain, what kinds of experiences you're having in life. And then finding your own Mr. Miyagi is finding the right mentors and, and counselors and therapists and, uh, you know, teachers and friends and relationships. You need to find those people that will help you lift up. Chelsea, appreciate that. Yes. Rafiki from Lion King. So 
the food that you bring in, how much you allow yourself to sleep. Too many of us are, are neglecting that, building your brain up in a lot of different ways, enjoying experiences in life, not just building experience and like I'm more experienced in this. And so I'm better at it. Find different things that create a memorable experience that'll make you smile. The more that you do that, you know, and celebrating those little small things, those are important. All right. So investing in yourself to thine own self be true, not what you know, but who you know. So building out that network, building yourself, learning how to communicate, and then learning to forgive. These are simple elements. These are all going to be part of the overall equation to success that we're going to deal with. But what I need you guys to do is look at those elements right now. Today, you're going to continue to define success for yourself. Write out first, just kind of brain dump, write out 10 more at least, right? Boom, 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 boom. These are, are, you know, bullet points on success. And then write a sentence or two. And I know some of you guys, when I say a sentence or two, some of you guys are going to write whole paragraphs. And that's awesome. I love that. Be that. If that is you, then by all means, be it, right? Write it out. Write out, figure out what success means for you, okay? Then you're going to continue to define those elements. We're going to look at the people that we think are successful. And we're going to talk about why we think they're successful. I want you to have one or two lines. If you want to write more, that's great. If this is always a person that you've looked up to, maybe it's someone from history that you have no chance of meeting. Maybe it's someone that you know you're on a pathway. If you do it the right way, you're going to meet. I've got some of those people that are on my list that are absolutely going to be in my life at some point, right? I made one of them my mentor recently. How did I do that? I gave him money. I said, I want you to mentor me. Here you go, right? And, and so now I've been able to already get on, on a couple of calls with him and that's brought some extra clarity to me and it's going to allow me to keep growing, right? I know he's got an upcoming mastermind that's going to be at his place. I told him, as soon as you have the dates, send me the invoice. I'm ready to come, right? So anyway, to find success, some of these people and write out why they are successful. And then I want you to look at yourself and these elements, and I want you to be 100% honest. And what I'm looking at is, you know, some of you guys, um, here are some things from a, a prior training. When I asked about, you know, what it takes to be successful, these were a couple of answers that you guys gave before. So it's having motivation. It's understanding your why. It was, you know, being willing to fail, being decisive, being curious, reaching goals, stop making excuses, comfortable with uncomfortable willing to be uncomfortable. Same thing, time management, helping others, progress over perfection. So you see how, look, this is almost that exact same question giving, given to, and a couple of you may have been on that original call, but given to a group similar to yours and coming up with close, but different definitions, different ideas. I want you to look at this guys and define success for you. And then I want you to look at some of these things and go, this is something that I'm either doing I've started, I've started a bunch of times in my life and I've never seen through or something I'm lacking. And I want you to kind of go through the, you know, create your list and then look at it. Spend a few minutes and, and say, you know what, this does or does not define me. This is or is not part of my life. I need to make this more a part of my life. Tomorrow, I'm going to help you map out what that equation looks like and where exactly to place the variables so that you can go from, at, you know, wherever you are now, your starting point, alpha, whatever, I'll come up with some cool math terms, and then we'll work on the equation to get to where your success and your definition of success is. That's kind of where we're at in this life, guys. I can't give you my equation because I'm starting here. And if I walked up and I said, listen, I've spent the last 20 years trying to figure this stuff out. Ray, Mike, Hartley, here you go. Aga, here's my, here's my recipe for success. And you guys, you follow it to a T. You follow it exactly the way I tell you to. And then, you know, a few months down the road, we're all going to come out to the judging table and you're going to put, you know, the, the picture, the video, the documentary of your life up on the table and it's going to be behind the camera. And I'm not going to be able to know who exactly it is. 
right? And we're going to look and, and every single one of you are going to go, why aren't I where you're at? Or you're going to say, man, I crushed you. I'm so far beyond where you were at this point. Because each of you are starting in a different place. It would be like me giving you a map on how me giving David and Ray and Aga, who's over a, across the ocean, by the way. And I give one to Tom, who's on the other side of the country. I give you guys the exact same map on how to get here. And, and at the end of 30 days, you all end up somewhere and you go, Andrew, where are you? I go, well, I'm still in Orlando. And Tom, well, I turned left after this many miles. So I turned right after this many miles and I'm stuck in Little Rock. Like, how the hell did I get here? You've got to figure out that equation for yourselves. Okay. So spend some time today looking at these elements. I promise they will be helpful tomorrow. And I will give you an equation that you can figure this out. And as long as you're consistent with your um, action, you can make things happen. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, go out and kick some butt. Make it an amazing day. Rise up from the ashes like always. Fly like the phoenixes that you are. And go out and kick some uh